Welcome back to getting Ben and Murray bitch off. Today I'm going to be showing you my favourite weapon at the moment, or artifact. It's called the Liangle Club. So Liangle Club, named by museums and all of that type of thing. I don't know the traditional name for this weapon from from my people, but um, you can see it's a pretty cool shape, kind of uh, cross between a bundi, a club, and a boomerang, and. What I've done is incised some engravings into it, line work, and we'll be filling that up, completing the rest with the yoke up. So this weapon, this tool, was used to um, fire it off and get around the, the shields of the enemy. So an Aboriginal man would be holding the shield and you'd use this to swing around and take out their arm and knock their, you know, eliminating the use of their hand and therefore they couldn't defend themselves with the shield. So, Liangle Club, pretty cool. walking around we're looking for some rocks to um use to grind down some ochre and this one looks all right Just gonna use my fingers to crush this down. It's pipe clay. To get a better consistency, you're gonna use another rock to grind this down. I'm not, because I can't be bothered looking for one. I'm just gonna add some water. So it looks grey, it's going to dry the white colour you see. And add a little bit more so it's easy. A bit more slippery. You can wipe the excess off later. No. Nope. 
We're going to let this dry. We'll come back and clean it up. And um, the job's done. Alright, so we've got this. And we're just going to clean it off. Just pick some of the... Um, I forget what they call it, Chinese tea tree um, plant. Just use the leaves as a bit of a cloth. There you have it, pretty much the finished product of the Liangle Club.